Welcome back to the FEI European Championship for seniors here in Flinge. We have just had a magnificent male final with Quentin Jabe, unstoppable in winning the title for France. Theo Guardia is in the second position. Silver medal for France for him and the bronze medal to Yannick Highland of Germany. But what a final it was. Incredible performances, really tough to call. The judges had some hard work to do to choose between those males. And we are now looking forward to the same kind of action from the females. 25 starters in the female class. And they will run in reverse order of merit since the first round. It is very, very close towards the to top of the table, however, and as we get closer, it's going to get really nail-biting. Only 0.146 between second place and sixth right now. Currently with the lead, Catherine Meyer of Germany. She has an 8.382. Nadja Butker of Switzerland in second place, 8.119 after round one. And Alina Ross for Germany, currently sitting in the bronze medal position, 8.104. It's very close and can all change. This free test is worth 50%. It will be combined with that one, round one score for the total score from the competitors today. And technically, our current European champion, still from 2019, Katharina Lucian of Austria. We haven't had a European championship since then. Corona putting an end to the one in 2021. We had a world championships instead to make up for the loss of the one in 2020. So technically, that title sitting with Austria. Of course, the current world champion, Manon Moutinho of France. She retired after the World Championships in Herning last year. So the floor is open for a new winner. And we haven't had a German female gold medal in the senior division since Christina Bo in 2018 at the World Equestrian Games. Very, very possible for them to win that gold today. All three of the German females sitting right towards the top of the table. Julia Sophie Wagner, she is just in the fourth position. But like I said, there is barely anything between second and sixth. And we will see who manages the pressure of competition and how the horses go as well. Most of the horses actually really good there in the male test. We had a few getting a bit more excited yesterday. And the audience really filling in there towards the end of the male test. And I'm sure it will do again as we progress through the females, creating quite the atmosphere for the participants in this freestyle test. Now, as with the males, 60 second time limit must be off before the bell. Four judges on the technique, two artistic and two on the horse. The degree of difficulty, the top 10 most difficult exercises in the Volters freestyle will be counted for that needing three risk exercises in order to make up a 10 along with combined within a generally difficult freestyle. And then the performance as well, part of the technique score. And then the artistic judges looking for the variety of the exercises performed from the various structure groups, dynamic statics, and a good use of the positions on the horse and also the direction. So look out for the athletes facing in all directions as well as being upright, upside down, moving along and across the horse. 
points also for musical interpretation and the unity of complexity and composition. Now we are ready to begin what's going to be another exciting final. And first to compete representing Great Britain, Vary Hume with Christmas PSZ and Nienke de Wilf. The judges have remained the same as in the male competition. some musical interpretation artistic impression. Not quite getting the full three strides on the handstand itself, but the handstand roll counting. Good finish. Well performed test there from Barry Hume from Great Britain. Just that one exercise perhaps not held for quite as long as she would have liked to, which means the judge won't count the actual handstand on top of the handles. However, the roll still does count. A much more fluid program today. Barry Hume representing Great Britain with Christmas PSZ and Nienke de Wolf. And she will move out and into the kiss and cry for her results from the judges. Those judges are Lisa Berg from Denmark at A, Craig Coburn at B for the USA, Doris Notter from Austria is at C, Frederic Petru from France sits at D, Ari Michaela Guzner for the Czech Republic at F, we have Jochen Schilfarts for Germany, Rob de Bruyne at G from the Netherlands, and judge at A. H. Monica Eriksson from Sweden. Just waiting for one score left to come in from the judges before we can let you know the final decision there. Score after round one, 5.387. Once again, this score worth 50%. We should see a good increase in that total score. So 
So an anxious wait for Barry Hume on the kiss and cry there as we move to the next competitor who is also representing Great Britain. Karis Morgan with Cairo and Claudia Duller Ossenberg Engels. Karis in the 24th place after the first round, 5.413. gentle through that handstand roll. Landing heavily from that cartwheel onto the neck. quite making the three strides there in the lower arm stand in order for the judges to count it. And good finish there from Paris Morgan from Great Britain. Working with many of those structure groups that the artistic judge will be looking for. We saw the cartwheel as well as a kick and jump. Some of the execution of the exercises just not quite as good as she would have liked them to be, which will incur some performance faults. And a medium level of difficulty. So possibly slightly lower on the technical scores there for Karis. And we'll return to the kiss and cry for the scores from Vary Hume. And the score for the test today, free test score 7.141. And that is a 6.264 final score. And then we might get Karis's score here as well. The two representatives from Great Britain in this senior female individual class. should be coming very soon. There we have it. 6.884 for her freestyle. Final score 6.149. So into the second place for Karis Morgan. Barry Hume will remain there on the kiss and cry step. And we will move to our next participant in the senior female class here at the FEI European Championships. The next competitor coming in from Denmark. 
and that is Eben Dines Peterson. And she comes in with kickoff and Hannah Hagen Hansen. Even 24 years old. And in the 23rd place after the first round. The Volter's outfits, they are chosen to match with the music, all part of the artistic impression. Solid start for Eben. And a good dismount. And kick off just with a little bit of extra energy there today in the free test for Eben Dinez Peterson. Over executing the exercises that she performed very nicely. And working through those artistic elements once again. And we saw the cartwheel movement from the neck to the back. Getting a demount in beginning the test. Heads down exercise in the handstand. And the ground jumps as well. Plenty more to come, I'm sure, in the future from Eben Dinez Peterson, representing Denmark. Again, we will wait for her score. And today, for the free test, six point five. Three zero. That does take her into the third place overall in the competition. Final score six point one zero two. artistic score and the horse scores struggling a little bit there for even Dinez Peterson. And the next competitor
Victor coming from Spain. Leila Ann Fraser with Royal George Alexander and Diane Rose Fraser. Leila in the 22nd place after the first round. 6.259. We had quite an interesting day in the technical test day for our senior athletes, which did move the leaderboard around quite a lot. Over that tech test, only counting 25% to the total score. This freestyle counting 50%. of the music and the facial expression already packing in quite a lot of difficulty as well <laughs> oh. Just a shame about the landing of the final dismount there from Leila and Fraser. The freestyle well worked with the music. Again, finding many of those structure groups required for a nice artistic score, certainly in the, the C1 part of that score. Just a few moments lacking the harmony with the horse. And then unfortunately unable to remain on her feet after the dismount. Fortunately in the individual free test, it's only a 0.4 deduction for that. So not so hefty. Leila always bringing a lot of character into her free test. And we will see her again as the Spanish team come later in the squad competition. excellent theme for their squad free test as well. Top freestyle score so far from Barry Hume, 7.141. Top score also very Hume 6.264. Again, we are waiting on the score from one of the judges to come in.
So Leila having to wait for her score as we move on each participant has a specific start time and we will make sure that we start each of them at the same time. So the score for Leila will have to wait until after the test here from Evelyn Lemaire from Belgium. She'll be waiting on Esprit with Conrad Vergauen. 6.275 in the first round. That was the 20th place. One years old. some time and receiving the bell signaling over the time limit now aside from that landing from the cartwheel and the one not held move a super program unfortunate receiving the bell that will mean she has a point off from the artistic judges me with a horse for the majority of the test. A little heavy coming out of that roll and performance fault from that. And here just missing the landing with that first foot on the cartwheel and then receiving the bell. So score for Leila and Fraser for the free test 7.413. That is the top score free test so far. And the top score overall in this final. 6.836 final score for Leila Ann Fraser for Spain. And Evelyn Lemaire for Belgium joining her now on the Kiss and Cry. 6.599. Her free test score. Fourth place so far. 6.437 for the final score at the European Championships here in Flingen. So we have a new top freestyle score to beat. Leila and Fraser, 7.413. And the next competitor to compete will be from Sweden. Natalie Brixland. Elvers' Galantic and 
and balance bent. And we fall in her technical test, meaning that she went over the time limit and received the bell. So that had a huge effect on her round one score. She is sitting in the 20th place after round one. 6.326. Natalie Ruxland also in the senior team for Sweden, competing later on today. Clean start. some of the ideal elevation from that cartwheel over and once again unfortunately just running out of time at the end of her free test and receiving that bell a good level of difficulty in there I know what risk exercises but a good number of the, the difficult exercises and using a lot of the variety of exercises that the artistic judge will be looking for. Not quite the same musical interpretation as we saw from Leila Ann Fraser. And then again, unfortunately, having received the bell, which is another one point off from that artistic score. for the freestyle score to beat for today. And there we have the score for Natalie Brixland. 7.313 in the free test. 6.820, so the second place so far. Leila and Fraser keeps the lead for Spain. between Leila and Natalie there, significantly in the artistic score, that bell having a major effect on the final score for Natalie Britsland. And we will stick with Sweden now. And the next competitor, Yasmin Jakobsen. 
of Lucky Lover and Marianne Jensen. Yasmin in the 19th place after the first round. 6.377. This is the final freestyle in the senior female competition. Some of the athletes we will see again on Sunday in the official team, the nation's team competition, which will involve two individuals and one squad from the senior competition. And they will come again on Sunday. through them all. A little bit of a heavy landing from that three-quarter turn. her heel a little bit on the back pad to get up from the outside ground jump, not quite having the same jump force she was hoping for. Oh, <laughs> once again, not quite managing to land that dismount. Yasmin Jakobsen for Sweden. Once again, getting some good difficulty through the free test. Execution of the exercises, not always completely perfect or in harmony with the horse, so some performance faults to come there. And just showing a little bit as well through the outfit or the choice of outfit. So as long as the outfit is form-fitting and of soft material, almost anything goes. Certainly we saw a little bit of extra movement through the outfit there of Yasmin Jakobsen. We're just using that foot on the back pad, having to pull up. She went well over the top in the, the uh, cartwheel dismount. However, unable to land much as Leila and Fraser from Spain, both girls, just adding in a little roll at the end. 7.413 freestyle score to beat. Score for the freestyle today, 6.956. And the total score, 6.667. So into the third place for Yasmin Jakobsen. And that means Natalie Brooksland hops one place further up. She is second so far. And Leila and Fraser keeping the lead for Spain and staying on that kiss and cry podium for a little bit longer. Mm 
now representing Finland, Jessica Lapsin with Quentin Bruce and Una Pakala. Jessica, 21 years old, 18th place after the first round, 6.531. top of her catsuit there with all those crystals looking great under the lights here in the arena stand and we'll take our time before that swan dive not quite rising enough with the center of gravity and again just getting the bell before she started the dismount we saw that she had to wait for a little bit just getting her balance before the swan dive costing her precious points however from that artistic judge I don't believe she had started the dismount when the bell went a good level of difficulty however in the program nice mount up to the shoulder stand very much getting involved in her artistic concept good facial expression just some moments of a loss of tension towards the end of that program. Here is that's where she lost the time, didn't quite get the center of gravity for the landing that she needed. Make it smooth. Great dismount, albeit unfortunately not being scored due to the fact the bell had been rung. Seems we have a little change in the score of Leila and Fraser, not making much of a difference. It's just a 7.395 for her free test today. 7.395. She stays in the lead though. 6.827. Jessica Laxin from Finland there, 7.455. <laughs> That's her. Thrilled with that score into the first place after the final round here at the FEI European Championships. So the lead now goes to Finland. And our next competitor will also come from Finland. The next competitor, Vuko Toivonen. And she will come into the ring with Laki and Annie Jarvela. Twenty two years old. A 
and she was in the 17th place after the pull through test on 6.645. already. but still holding it. Very difficult backward stance, but with one hand, something a little heavy out of that cartwheel. <laughs> Good test there. Great job done by Vugo Toivonen. I feel like you could argue that she had already started that dismount. The body weight was moving forward when the bell rang. So much in her character right from the start, showing a lot of confidence and really hitting the musical pieces at the right time. Plenty of difficulty in that test as well. The free Beelman on the back pad at the start, a big highlight. Just a few little hops on the lower foot. However, she did hold it for the full three strides. And then she showed us strength as well as flexibility, that backward stand split. Difficult enough, but uh, even more so when she took the one hand off. That was really good. Not quite the 180 with the stand split itself. So a little performance fault there. Very nicely through this sideways cartwheel. So we shall be seeing a large freestyle score there much much higher artistic most likely yes indeed good job Vuko Toivonen from Finland 7.8 <laughs> in the freestyle test today and then a 7.223 overall I feel like she surprised herself with that freestyle score so she has raised the bar here. The new freestyle score to beat 7.800. Some very high technique scores and indeed really nailing the artistic there. 8.5 and 8.2 for the artistic score for Vuko Toivinen. Next to compete, Joske van Koelen from the Netherlands. With Shamir and Vian Pierik. Joske 
in the 16th place after round one. And a 6.891 round one score. And the support crew there at Claire de Ritter, Chef to Keep, national trainer. And Nicola Andriani as well. some of those stand pieces moving smoothly through the elements just overbalancing at the end of her backwards stand. And she's just checking with the judge. So because she fell off there, she was checking with the judge how much time she had left. It is really important to get a final dismount in. However, Judge at A said one second, which is fairly impossible for her to get on and dismount. So she will lose a point off the artistic score due to the lack of that final dismount. If she'd got back on, she would inevitably have got the bell and thus taken the point off anyway. A really tough call there for Yoske. She had shown some good elements with nice flow, just overbalancing in the stand there at the end, unable to hold it. So again, there will be somewhat of a deduction for coming off as well. The fall will come from the technique judge. And one point off the performance score there. Not the end that she had hoped for here. However, we'll wait to see what the judges scored. Joske van Kulen from the Netherlands with Shamur and Rianne Pierik. Score for the free test, 6.7. Two, nine. And therefore, final score, 6.810. Disappointing end for her championships, but we have enjoyed watching her here in Flinge. That fall really costly and as well. The point off the artistic score, nothing she could have done there, however. So the lead stays with Finland and with Vuko Toivinen. 7.226 final score for Finland. We have three more competitors to come before the break. And now representing the Czech Republic, Katerina Kokurova with Cairo and Claudia Dollar ossenberg Engels.
Katerina with a 6.911 round one score, and that is the 15th place coming into this final round. Very nice, strong lower arm stand. It's a little stiff, lacking the energy in the cartwheel there. shape there finishing with the roll dismount good test from Katarina Kokorova just the cartwheel which she didn't land quite as precisely as she wanted to do the very first half though of that free test very nice and neat and she did create some lovely shapes throughout the good difficulty level and working together with Cairo and Claudia Doller Ossenberg Engels for the Czech Republic. Picking up those artistic points from the beginning with that D mount, as well as making sure she got in the ground jumps. And musical interpretation coming in as well. The musical side of things, again, maybe not quite as immersed in the theme as we saw from Vuko Toivonen of Finland. But that musical interpretation, just 30% of the artistic score. And the rest of it made up from the variety of the exercises, the variety of the positions and the unity of Composition and complexity to the flow of the free test. The score now, Katarina Kokorova in the freestyle, 7.307. 7.109, final score. That takes her into the second place. So the lead <laughs> remains there with Finland after that really creative test from Vuko Toivonen Wednesday. She did such a good job with her artistic impression and the most difficult freestyle as well that we have seen so far, earning Vuko Toivonen that 7.806, which is the top freestyle score by some way so far. Next to compete for Belgium, Lauren van der Berg with Esprit and Conrad Vergauen. We 
we saw Esprit already with Evelyn Lemaire in this second round in the finals each vaulter running in individually even if there are two on the same horse Esprit scoring a 6.6 .6 and a 6.5 earlier with Evelyn will be judged completely independently this time but just a little reference point for you if you are watching the horse in town they tell the story of the marsh cross the one who grew up alone in the wild and now they tell Double outside ground jump. Squeezing in some difficulty. Not quite managing to hold that handstand though, repeating it but still unable to hold it the second time. It's a very nice unique chest stand on the croup of the horse. Good dismount, just managing to hold it. Good job Lauren van der Berg for Belgium with some interesting elements in there. was a little bit stilted to begin with and then she really got into it, started using her music that bit more. Gave us some good difficulty, that double outside ground jump and the Maltese lever scoring high on the difficulty. Not quite making it with the handstand on top of the handles, however. Went up for a second attempt, but still didn't hold it that time. So that one won't get hunted. well presented retest here for Belgium. Here we have the R exercises. And here just the one that didn't quite come off. Really liked this though. Certainly a highlight within the program there. A little bit heavy on the way out and just catching that toe coming from the croup stand. Should be looking for a pretty high score, however. And it is 7.630. So second freestyle so far. Keeps her in the lead, however. Lauren Van Lerberg in the first place so far. Still Vuko Toivin in with that top freestyle of the day. She went very clean and pretty difficult. Really did exude confidence in that free test from Vuko, but we have a new leader, Lauren van der, Ver van der Berg for Belgium, and one more athlete to present themselves before the break. So, representing Austria, Cornelia Pickel. And she will be vaulting with Enjoy the Moment and Antonia Baumann. Currently in the 13th place after round one. 
Good opening sequence. It's a little bit of loss of balance in that last kick. Back strong again now, however. Making it off in time, not quite landing the jump in the sideways stand position, which it looked like she was aiming for. Cornelia Pickle representing Austria. And a very, very neat start to that test. Not giving away many performance faults. Lost a little bit through the middle. And then finishing up strong with a good dismount. Not so many points there, however, on the musical interpretation side. Only a few pieces of choreography. This was a really good beginning to the free test. Getting the difficulty score for doing that kick in the backwards. Just moving that handstand through a somewhat cartwheel to the needle in the neck. They're losing her balance. And again, clean lines in the strength moves. This was the jump to land in sideways, not full sideways with the feet. And aiming to do that, to land sideways in order to up the level of difficulty. The vaulter jumps just in a forwards direction. If it's high enough, they could get an M, but uh, they have to do a change of direction to keep pushing the difficulty up for a jump nowadays. Freestyle score, 8.105, and 7.626 is the final score for Cornelia Pickle of Austria. Very nice horse scores as well for Antonia Bauman and enjoy the moment. We had a 7.7 .7 from the judge at A and an 8.0 horse score judge at E. And also really picking up the points in the technique scores. Slightly lower from both artistic judges than some of the other participants, but really nailing it from the technical and performance side of things. So as it stands, Cornelia Pickle in the lead for Austria. 7.626. In the second place, we have Lauren van der Berg of Belgium, and then Ruko Toivonen in the third place so far after the first half of female senior individuals here at the FEI European Championships. 
And we'll now take a short break and return at 15.45 to build the pressure even more. Some more fantastic freestyles to come and we will crown the champion in the individual senior female class. We will see you at 15.45.
And welcome back to the FEI European Championships here in Sweden. And we are halfway through the individual female freestyle test. Already we have been shown some incredible performances with great artistry. And we're only halfway through the class. The athletes are running in reverse order of merit from the first round. So things are only going to get better and much, much more exciting as we go along. And we will continue the class with an athlete from Denmark, Nana Trab Christensen. And she'll be competing with Boston and Pia Sorensen. And the current Free test score to beat 8.105. That was Cornelia Pickle from Austria. We saw her just before the break. Nana currently in the 12th place after the compulsory test. 7.184, her round one score. Good artistic pieces here at starting off the test. Great jump to backwards, Not quite perceiving as much height as she would have liked in the backwards jump, but landing firmly nonetheless. piece of choreography back into the backwards stand, making it off right on the time limit. Good performance there from Nana Chab Christensen of Denmark. And squeezing some nice difficulty in there, including that jump from forward knees to backwards stand. Just adding that as a free test exercise. Few performance faults. A little bit in the ground jump to shoulder stand. And again, in a spin around to the backwards, just slipping very slightly. Occasionally just coming out of the harmony with the horse. Boston moving nicely on the circle. And 
the score there. Nana Trab Christensen, 8.079 in the free test today. And she retains her position there. First place so far after round one. 7.632. And this year we are celebrating 40 years of vaulting within the FEI. And in those 40 years, Germany have had 25 wins. 25 gold medals have gone to Germany. That's across the board, both world and European. Of course, they might add another one to it today. Switzerland also in with a chance of winning that gold medal later on this afternoon. And similarly, as is Austria. Very, very close between the top six. Only 0.148 second to sixth place. So as we creep up through these competitors, it's getting it more and more intense. And certainly the atmosphere is building inside the arena here. And we welcome Ella Philippa Velander, representing Sweden with Elversus, Galantic and Balic Spence. Ella in the 11th place after that first round, 7.238. Our score is 25% of the total score. And I can tell you when Elver Sears Galantic was in earlier in this class with Natalie Brooksland, it scored 7.8 on average. So should the horse go in the same way? A good horse score coming for Ella Philippa. And the technique and artistic part now just down to her. in that first kick, beautiful handstand gently onto the neck. She is moving well along and across the horse there. Oh. oh, it was so good. A really clean performance. A good level of difficulty. I feel like the bell rang again just before she had time to start the dismount. Very frustrating and possibly due to that, hearing the bell unable then to land the dismount. What a shame. It had been such a clean program. Ella Philippa Valander for Sweden with Balash Benz and Ella versus Galantic. Her cat suit there very much showing off the lines really nicely. The quality of movement 
very good. It's not quite the same expression of character and immersion in the musical concept as some that we have seen, but the technical side of it was very neat and tidy. As I said, with good difficulty, so frustrating that the bell went right before she dismounted. We'll look for the artistic oops, scores to see if the judges have taken that point off. Once again, the landing of the dismount, not ideal, but not so costly as in the technical program. Just a 0.4 of the performance score for the dismount landing. There will be a little performance fault from the exercise itself. And it's good, good freestyle score still. 8.078 for the free test. And then she sticks her position. 7.658 after the final round there. Total score for Ella Philippa Valander of Sweden, 7.658. Some very good horse scores again for Ella Philippa Valander. But the technique scores were really up there. High sevens and into the eights. Alina Barosh now representing Austria with Dustin von Lue and Manuela Barosh. Alina performs on Dustin von Lue and Manuela Barosh. Alina, 10th place after round one. So we are now into our last 10 competitors here at the FEI European Championships. Those medals are getting closer. Quarter turn, super gentle landing. Long through that lower arm stand. dismount there, Alina Barosh from Austria. <laughs> Either losing or removing her hair tie halfway through that test. Once again, a good level of difficulty, working through those artistic structure groups as well. Very nice three-quarter jump turn. Not managing to stand strong in the backward stand jump sequence. Not a problem in that jump turn, that was lovely. And really working with her music as well. here tie part of the expression. Okay, we'll wait 
to see what the judges made of the test there for Austria. Alina Barosh. And there is the score for Alina. 8.003. Just sticking that lead, 7.687. Oh, we've had a lot of very close freestyles there. Three on 8.0 something. And still the lead for the free test today is with Cornelia Pickle. She had an 8.105. Total lead, however, for Austria. And the next competitor into the arena will be from the Netherlands, Annabeth Kube. She will come with Evermore R and Alan Laudrup. Annabeth in the ninth place after the first round. year she finished the world championship in the 16th place currently sitting ninth transition from one handstand to the other. Piling in the difficulty. Absolutely straight into that lever. Good, oh, good does mount just over, cooked it on the landing a little bit to the inside. A very well filled free test there from Annabeth Kube from the Netherlands. Lots of difficulty and working very well with her music minor performance faults really just coming out of the handstand into that lever. <laughs> Living her freestyle from the side there, Claire de Ritter. And here was a great dismount, looked like she had it and just couldn't quite hold it, but just to think, just a hand, so not so much coming off for that there. Well done, Annabeth Kube for the Netherlands. for the free test, 8.216. So, 
school total score, 7.869. So into the first place so far for Annabeth Kuba and the top freestyle score taking over that spot as well. Technique scores there very high, 8.5, 8.7, 8.5, 8.4. Judges very much in agreement there. Some good scores also for Evermore are 7.6, 7.5. So. Just eight competitors remain vying for the European Championship title here in Flingy. Freestyle score to beat 8.216. Now I can tell you, Manon Montinho last year at the World Championships freestyle score was a 9.296. So there is plenty room for us still to go up, even though we have seen some incredible vaulting so far. Now representing Hungary, Blanka Neme with Bastian and Tomas Ognowski. So Blanca in the eighth place after the first round, Really strong in that lever. Very nice. And leveling up the difficulty there in the backwards needle for one hand off. Making the one legged stand. same height she wanted in the jump. Soft landing. Mm. And a really interesting stand there, free sideways inside on the neck. Uh, sorry, facing outside on the neck at the end there. What a fantastic test there from Blanca Neme. Now we are pushing up the difficulty level once again. Squeezing in some R's into that test. Very well performed. And she moved very smoothly and fluidly between them. Choosing to mount straight to her feet is to get that D mount required for a top artistic score. Blanca Neme for Hungary with Bastian and Tomas Ogonowski. Lovely cartwheel straight along the back pad. And also ticking the boxes inside ground jump, outside ground jump. Covering all the bases, I think, for that artistic score. Lovely finish. I'm definitely pleased <laughs> with that test. Pick up 
picking up some of the highlights in her music as well through her choreography. Should be looking for a very high technique score here, that DOD and performance coming together for technique. Miss Kiss and Cry proving dangerous, I think. But a few athletes nearly uh, decide to go backwards off it. Wow, great freestyle score for Blanca Neme. 8.599 and 8.106. So the first of our vaulters here passing the eight mark for a final score at the European Championship. It was a very excellent performance from Blanca Nemeth combined with really incredible horse scores. I'll let you know, 8.0 from Judget A, 8.7 the horse score, Judget E. But not only that, some fantastic technique scores as well. Oh, it's starting to get really exciting now. Everyone is building the atmosphere in the arena here. And Danielle Berge will be the next to compete, representing Switzerland. Danielle with Cairo S and Corinne Bossard. Seventh place after the compulsory round. Sorry, first round. Compulsories and freestyle. Technical test. Fantastic finish, Danielle Berge working quite hard there on top of Cairo, but a wonderful freestyle. Not getting the Maltese lever in, just not quite able to hold that one. That aside, creating some beautiful shapes and really working with the music. It really does suit her and her vaulting. Some interesting and intricate transitions from Danielle there as well. Lovely there, through the forward roll 
popping straight into the bridge. And her flexibility is incredible. That was just a little bit of a heavy landing. Small execution deduction. Occasionally just coming out of harmony with Cairo. But, uh, beautiful shapes. And once again, really getting through all of those artistic boxes. Lovely dismount. And we will see what the judges made of the freestyle from Danielle Burgi. Not quite. 8.312. Still a very good freestyle score. It does put her into the second place in the freestyle, second place overall. So Blanca Nemeth moves into the lead, stays in the lead, for Hungary. Lovely scores for Danielle Burgi. A little bit lower on the horse score. Just a couple of the techniques if you're comparing them with some of the other athletes we've seen so far today. Six to go. And Eva Nagler for Austria with Edifix and Klaus Heidecker with the new outfit and theme for this freestyle. Sixth place after the first round. Very, very close up there. So here it's going to get quite tense and very exciting. switch. Squeezing just about in the one-legged stand. Fantastic sideways cartwheel and great dismount. Eva Nagler, there are some exceptional moves in that free test. Lots of potential there, not coming through completely the way that she wanted it to, however, today. A little slip at the beginning, missing the handle. And then landing heavily out of the cartwheel with the switch leg. Really great on the musical interpretation side of things. But if we were going for at the top, it's not going to make it, unfortunately. He recovered very well after that slip. Very much getting into the theme of the freestyle. And here again, just losing too many performance faults at this stage in the game. A bit of loss of balance out to the inside from the one-legged stand. Amazing sideways cartwheel, however. Great finish. And 
the score for Eva Nagler. 7.713 in the freestyle today. It's ninth freestyle. Really taking the hit on those technical scores and performance. Not where it needed to be for a top level finish. However, we will see more of her again on Sunday in the Pas de Deux final. Fourth place so far for Eva Nagler, which means the top spot remains with Hungary and Blanca Neme, who still has that best freestyle of the day, 8.599. And total 8.106 for Blanca Neme. The next competitor for Switzerland, Ilona Hane. She comes in with Rayo de la Luz and Monica Winkler Bischofsberger. Fifth place after the first round and again. For these last five competitors, all the potential to win one of those medals. Really at this point, it's a game of mental strength. They're all more than capable and have each of them superb free tests. So who can handle the pressure? of such high level competition. softly working with the horse. Little slip. Oh, <laughs> good finish. Ilona Hanek from Switzerland. Working very well on Rio de la Luz. Well filled free test with good difficulty, as well as really ticking all the artistic boxes. Very mild slip at the end of the cartwheel there. Small, small performance deduction on that one. And not quite holding the press up position on the croup. That aside, really nothing to take away from her performance. Super body control. And great quality of movement as well. the score to beat. That's the top freestyle score today, Blanca Nemeth, so far. 
certainly, certainly could be close. Very close, 8.519. And into the first place so far in the final here. 8.519, so that free test was very marginally behind Blanca Neme, but does take her into the lead. 8.265, now the score to be four competitors remain. Oh, a tense wait now for Ilona to see if she will have done enough to jump up a few places. She was fifth after that first round. Next to come representing Germany, Julia Sophie Wagner with Katja Wagner and Giovanni185. Now she had the lead over Ilona, just ahead of her by 0 0.08 after the first round, so almost nothing. And she was even closer than that to third. transition there. Oh, well done. <laughs> oh, excellent save, Julia Sophie Wagner. And a little overbalance at the end of that backwards jump, which by the way was really high. And just making it, saving that really well done into the free cartwheel landing it not even a bother great freestyle for germany the first of the three german females Ooh. i think everyone was on the edge of their seats there mounting directly into that shoulder stand on the neck which was nice and different to quite a lot and a lot of mounts to stand so really good to have a different one there and really great cartwheel from the handstand definitely a highlight that transition working with her music here we go Center gravity moving towards the tail. It's like her body knew what was coming before her brain had time to think about it. And she just went straight into that dismount. Great finish. Eight point five nine nine, top freestyle of the day.
wait there on the kiss and cry for Julia Sophie Wagner with her mom Katja Wagner. Giovanni 185, their course. So once again, we will build the tension for you at home. And Julia Sophie Wagner having to wait for her score until after the next competitor, Alina Ross. Also representing Germany with Baron R and Volker Ross. Alina currently sitting in the bronze medal position. Only just that fraction ahead of Julia Sophie Wagner and only a fraction behind Nadja Budkert in the silver. through the back handspring, so gentle. Working very well with both the music and the horse. almost the only error she had in that full free test. And it was full of difficulty. No doubt she scored a 10 for the difficulty in that. The performance was all there as well. With its tiny little touches off the ground with her fingertips. Alina Ross representing Germany with Volker Ross and Baron R. Certainly fully immersed in her artistic concept. This was just amazing. Really gentle in the landing. Complete harmony with the horse. And just, she took her time into it and just for some reason didn't keep the upper body up enough on landing. Julia Sophie Wagner's. Free test score 8.332, 8.214. The final score there. So Ilona Hane has the lead. But how long for was a super free test? 
8.599 Blanca Nemeth score. 8.549 for Alina Ross. And straight into the lead there. 8.327 guaranteeing a medal now for Germany and for Alina Ross after a wonderful free test. Almost all those freestyle scores in the nines. Slightly lower on the horse side of the score. However, the exercises and artistic really top marks for Alina Ross from Germany. Now, Nadja Butker representing Switzerland with Rio de la Luz and Monica Winkler Bischofberger currently sitting in silver medal position. A tough act to follow. Alina's test pretty perfect. Rayo de la Luz, of course, having just been in with Ilona Hanek. Some good scores there. 7-8 and 7-3 on the horse score with Ilona. up into the dismount when that bell rang. Some good moves from Nadja Budker of Switzerland. Somewhat missing the fluidity we've had from the other competitors. A few little performance faults coming in as well some great difficulty that outside needle so hard not sure she'll get the points for the one-armed cartwheel with the hand coming off late signature move there for Nadja just coming out halfway across balance in that needle. It's so difficult to execute. Finishing. Just on bell. 8.149 in the free test today. 
And 8.134 in total, taking her into the fourth place. So guaranteeing a silver medal for Alina Ross from Germany, guaranteeing a bronze for Ilona Hane. Her beautiful program just before Alina's. Now, one last competitor. And they come from Germany. Catherine Meyer with San Classico S and Sonia Meyer. No matter what happens here, Germany guaranteed a gold medal in this class. The uh, question is will it be Catherine or will it be Alina? Catherine does have point two over Alina coming into this round. of height in that swan dive. Beautiful control. Big finish. Great freestyle from Catherine Meyer for Germany. Once again, packed with difficulty, plenty artistic. Big hugs for San Glasgow S and Mum Sonia Meyer. just looking a little bit hesitant but really then got into the pretest then only that swan dive which wasn't quite executed as well as she might have liked it to be yeah, just hesitating a little bit Beautiful control through the exercises. And an excellent finish. And so we wait. Gold is for Germany, but the question is for who? Alina Ross currently leading the class on 8.327. Tie for Berg 
joining the team there. Guaranteed two medals, absolutely for sure. The question is who takes home the gold one? sure the scores are correct before we can find out who will be the European champion in the senior female class. family affair there as well. Catherine with her mum and Alina with her dad. Fantastic performances from both females today, really holding that pressure, holding their nerve and giving us quite a wonderful show here in the arena in Flinge. S and Sonia Meyer. The silver medal for Alina Ross with Baron R and Volker Ross. And the bronze medal to Switzerland with Ilona Nani and Monica Winkler Bischofsberger. An emotional finish here for Catherine Meyer. And joining quite the lineup of names having won that gold medal for Germany. She becomes the 11th gold medal winning female in the senior division for Germany. Catherine Meyer with an exceptional freestyle round. San Clasco S and Sonia Meyer. Once again, silver medal for Alina Ross from Germany. Incredible freestyle from her today and a beautiful test also for Ilona Hanek from Switzerland with Monica winkler Bischofsberger. They take the bronze in that female individual class. Your new European medalists. And the action is not yet over for the day. We will have a short break and then return for the final of the senior squads for their freestyles. And that will be at 17.30. So 5.30 p.m. we return to crown some more European champions. We'll see you then.